As this humble little frog, I need to plant me some seeds and then kill some giant gnats. Die. Basically, this is just about to be a giant mix of a uh, cute farming sim and also fight for my life. Harvesting the crops that I grow, though, gives me experience. So now I can get a free little level up. This is just plus 10 damage. I'll pick that up. Thank you. And oh, I got another one. This is experience gain. I'll just take that. And I see these little ore veins popping up that I can mine as long as I just hang out near them. Do that. They give me free money. I love free money. Oh, cool. I leveled up again. Summoning blade. Seems like it's pretty crazy. I'm gonna take it. What's life without a little risk? Oh, the shop's opened up. What do you got in here for me, buddy? Bouncy ball seeds? I'll take all of those. Let me also expand my farming plot. Here we go. Now I can grow a lot more plants and I can even fish in my spare time. Where'd this grasshopper come from? What's coming after me now? Grasshoppers and mosquitoes? Is that what you all are? Oh, I got a catfish. This is more damage and growth speed, but even more enemy spawns. I guess that's actually not that bad if I just get leveled up enough. And currently my bouncy ball seeds uh, just explode enemies basically on impact. Yeah, I like this. Doing a little fishing, doing a little crop mining. This is more XP gain too. Yes, I'll take enlightenment. 3% less money, but 12% experience. I feel like the math is going to check out later. Oh, and I get three free fish if I just stand right here. That's huge experience. Yeah, let's up this more experience gain and more crit chance. If I can max that out, it's going to be like a 20% critical. Dude, that's good gambling odds. Oh, but this this is move speed. That's also extremely important. Give me that. Oh, hey, the shop's open. I made it all the way to day three and I got myself another level up. More damage, but a little less knockback. We can take that. What do you got for me today, buddy? Is this a cat? Dude, I want a cat. Give me that. I didn't mean to rhyme so much. Bruh. And pitchfork stabs towards the nearest enemy. Okay, give me all three of those. And then I'll just buy three raspberry seeds and two radishes. <laughs> Luckily, I've got my cat to help me out. Oh, and my pitchfork's here. Wow. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a good upgrade. What is this? Plus one amount and plus 20 damage be taking that if i get three of a weapon do i get to like evolve it to the next level i see well that makes things quite interesting more xp gain and crit chance i pretty much just need to hang out by the house so i'm always fishing i'm getting a lot more money than i used to be i think that's set for me to start just buying out pretty much all these crops if i can this time i've actually got more crops than i can plant whoops is that giant praying mantis giant praying mantis that's so scary that's fine i think i caught her on the tree nope she's running after me again all right just keep yep going backwards the bouncy balls are doing a lot of work my cat i have no idea where it's at but i trust it's doing good things oh get it kitty kill the mantis okay you didn't do that but you know she's dead now what's in this treasure chest do i get another pet water's plants for me yep you got it elephant that's your job from now on and this maxes out my wisdom giving me a permanent 20 percent crit chance yeah that's gonna be real handy now, i'm good to just sit in my fish and pond. Enemies aren't overwhelming me or anything, so I'm not like super worried about that. It probably is time for me to buy another weapon though. I've still only got three. There's two more slots. Well here, I can buy uh, 11 bounty ball seeds and also increase my crop area. This will be good. Just trying to max out my balls as fast as I possibly can. I feel like that's going to make it very, very busted. And if I get drought, crops are thirsty, but my elephant waters them and that's 20% XP gain. I'll be picking that up. What is my XP gain right now? 62%? That's pretty good. What is rolling after me now? What are these things? They're scary and weird. They kind of all die the same though, so that's fine. Ooh, more projectile speed. All right, bouncy balls are leveling up now. We'll increase their amount and then we'll upgrade my attack duration and bouncy balls leveled up again. Let's add another amount and then give them 20% crit chance also because now that should be like a 40% for bouncy balls and then we'll increase that crit chance and crit damage thing again. When the balls come out, everything should start dying. Go ahead and... Yep, just murdered all of the things around me. Cool. Glad my theory on that was right. There's a lot of rocks over here. This should translate to a lot of money if I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm just going to feel stupid and dumb. But no, it, it looks like I'm rich. God, feels good to be right. Bruh. What do you got today, buddy? Oh, another elephant. Yeah, find him. It's basically the whip from that one game that doesn't have vampires in it. All right, that's pretty funny. Come here. I also want to buy just more farming land while I've got it. I have two elephants now, so I'm assuming they can take care of my land a little bit better. All this is getting watered and... Oh, Oh, cool, I leveled up again. More max health plus regen. Okay, maybe I need that. I haven't really been getting hurt yet, but enemies are starting to increase, so you never know. Plus one amount, attack size and damage. Give me that. I should be able to evolve Tongue Lash at least one more time, right? There we go. Oh, I increased the amount and the attack frequency? Absolutely do this one. I'm just having a bunch of tongue whips around me now, which is very, very good if I say so myself. Also, I haven't fully explored this area. I see the fence that I can't go past, but let's take this time to risk it a little bit and run around. I'm a small frog 
dog in a big world. I'd like to know. Scary spider! Uh, keep throwing stuff at it. Bouncy balls, we on that yet? No, that's fine. I'll just live in fear, I guess. Oh, the shop's open, and I just ate like 5 million cauliflower. Yeah. Plus 10 attack size, 2 water capacity. I'll take that, just for the attack size itself. And then I'll increase my attack duration. How many times did I just level up? Uh, pick up range for more coins. That all seems good. Hey, shopkeep, there's a giant spider out there. I'm scared. All right, give me the nine pitchforks and I can't buy anything else. No. Nope. Oh, what if I reroll? No, still nothing, man. All right, well, I've got 20 potato seeds to plant and thankfully this spider is still staying away from me. Give me this chest. What do you have? What's your secrets? Plant seeds for me? This is just an automated system now. Yeah, that works. If I get something that'll harvest them for me next, I'm golden. But all right, time to upgrade this pitchfork. Oh, see, it's the attack frequency that's kind of huge that I would like because yeah, I didn't think about the 20% enemies thing, but they uh, really do just keep popping up, huh? More attack frequency and damage. Give me that. Is this just, okay, it looks like it's pretty much permanently attacking now, which is my ideal. It is about time though that I get two more weapons because this is getting scary. Oh, I leveled up. We'll increase that pickup range to max. And now we are good to run around for a second. I think spawning in all the extra enemies that I have has really helped me uh, jumpstart my game because they all drop coins. So I've just been quite literally blood harvesting them. They die, I get rich, everybody's happy. You wanna tell me they're not happy? They're dead, how would you know? All right, shopkeep, what do we got in here? More bouncy balls, more tongue lash. Let's maybe reroll so I can find something new. Spawns a friendly mole that shoots enemies. Cool, give me the max of that. And then the max of the the rest of the seeds that I can get. All right, how are we doing? That's a lot of experience. All right, more attack duration, please. And I'm sorry, this just says 10% attack frequency. Give me that. If I can get my attack frequency up by like 70 million, that's a giant mantis. All right, I might be living in a world where I no longer get to avoid damage. Plus one max HP per level. Okay, we'll take that. That was like epic, I think. Just keep going around. Mole turret, get plus three piercing. There's so many things on my screen, I couldn't even tell you where the mole turret is. I just know he's gotta be around here somewhere. Look at all these enemies man what is this can i get garlic game do you have a garlic version please nope. here we'll give the mole turret more piercing and more projectile speed and more damage it looks like they shoot bullets that do 104 so i mean that's actually pretty good can't really hate on that that's fine we'll just keep running through hoping everything works Ooh, a chest that mantis did die let me get another toucan i really do want to automate this whole farming thing i've got going and hey what do you know another toucan pet purchase what does this thing do blast a beam of water that follows and persistently rotates take 12 of those and we'll upgrade my plot I'm out of money. I think my plot might be the highest it can possibly be is what that is making me believe. And I will be taking more move speed from these boots. All right, bring it on. We're fighting near my farm though because I want this XP. Ooh, more move speed again. That's maxed. And oh, the Kamehameha is sick. Oh yes, more crit chance. Give me that. It's just a guaranteed base 30% crit chance now. And I'm sorry, this says plus one amount. How does that work? Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the damage of that now if you don't mind that's pretty much just uh, an absolute screen clearer yep uh-huh thank you oh this says plus two amount sure let's pick that up now what do i do shoot a cross across me plus 15 crit damage fishing speed five percent damage let's just take the normal 10 percent damage strength potion that's all positive no negative and yes Yes, I do. This is nice. That's that's a fun clear, I think. I like hearing all the uh, gold coins go into my pocket, too. Makes me feel better about myself. I kind of wish that I could uh, upgrade this blasty thing even further now. But hey, this is 15% attack duration. I'll take that. That kind of helps it upgrade. It just stays for longer. All right, Mr. Shop, what do we have? 13 of these. I'll be buying them. And then I guess I just should try and buy the max of everything. I've got a lot of seeds, but I've got a lot of toucans and elephants. Just based off my knowledge, they should all be doing what pet things do. What is this? What is this? I'm being attacked by like weird spidery creatures. In here, let's upgrade the crit chance and frequency of my water beam more and then buy my attack frequency. This shoots out much faster now. I like that. I like that. This wave is kind of overwhelming. All right. We want to calm down maybe? This hurts. Why are there so many of you? Go away. Heal me. Heal me, please. Here, yes. More crit chance and crit damage. Why not? If that means these jerks die and leave me alone. I feel like, oh, there's another giant spider. Man, why is it always a giant spider? All right. This is fine. I'm managing to loop around. I've got my mole turrets helping out shooting. The shop's open. Help me. Maybe I need to get pitchfork seed absolutely maxed out too. That seems like it'd be good. Is this a legendary thing? Oh, a lot of growth speed for my crops. I do less damage and less crit damage, but that's fine. I've been bolstering that stuff up since I started playing. Water beam. Oh, this is the max level. I'll add plus four to the amount because now this should just be like a yeah, constant sphere of pain. And then this is plus 30% attack frequency, but it lowers the effectiveness of future attack frequency stuff. I'm going to take that right
right now because I'm facing a, a issue where there's a lot of creatures and I'm very wounded. Give me this chest. Retrieves loot drops for you. He's a good boy. Go get him, buddy. Yep. Thank you, my water. Let's increase my pitchforks, attack frequency, size, and amount. That's working out hopefully pretty nice. I don't even know what all enemies are fighting me now. I think those are dragonflies and then like ticks. All I know is I don't feel comfortable in my farm anymore like I once did and I will be calling pest control. Ooh, max health, attack size, and damage. Give me that. I'm just a level 35 frog farmer. What more do you want from me? Oh, and I can max this out. Increase the amount, damage, and attack frequency. Yes, please. The goal here is to not let a single enemy near me. Plus 10% damage. I'll be taking that also. I'm also realizing I'm at uh, $43,000. I really do think adding on the like plus 40% more enemy spawns made this game a whole different beast than what it was actually supposed to be. Here's my reward. More attack frequency. And hey, cool. Another pet. Purchase that. I'll buy 16 of these tongue lashes. Just try and plant those where I can. Bongo berries. A lot of positives. Just a little bit of negative on the crop yield. I'll just still take it. And there's tongue lash. Yep. Buy more amount. I'd like to max out all of my weapons if I can. More damage, more attack size. And there's just like a lot more. This is good. Overall, I feel like I can maybe survive two weeks in here. This is, oh wow, that's so many positives, but this is just damage and knockback. Give me that. It's all about the attack frequency. I'm at a base plus 75%. And yeah, I am licking the crap out of this mantis. Huh? It is dead. All right, I knew that'd be good. Let me get more oh, elephant oh, to water more crops. I feel like everything would grow faster. I just am really bad at watering. Planting speed and watering speed, perfect. How far? do I go in this before I have to fight God? Be honest with me. I feel like I'm getting pretty close. Plus more watering speed and watering range. Oh wait, this is all the more positives. Give me that. Maybe I'll be able to level up and I'll just have taken every upgrade possible. That feels like it could be a very real thing. Buy more mole turret seeds and then the rest of these seeds just because I can. I can even reroll to buy more farm seeds. There we go. I should be having crops for days now. <laughs> I wish there was an upgrade that like gave me just water back from the air or something. Let me be a waterbender. Oh my gosh. Plus one amount, plus three piercing, plus 40 damage. That's so beautiful. Make my mole turrets crazy. Oh, and this is a plus three amount. Yes. Beautiful. If I look at my damage, you can see my <laughs> moles do 1200 DPS. Obviously my water beam is by far the most damaging thing I have, but that's fine. Combine them all up and I'm feeling somewhat confident. Can't wait to see what happens when I max the balls out. You think there's a way too? I can just get like more pets, more projectile speed. I don't really even know if that's worth it, but I haven't thought about really what I'm picking when I level up in a long time. All right, buy more bouncy balls and start buying the rest of these seeds. Here we go. Just had to make sure my bouncy ball seeds were selected so I could actually plant them. Oh, so many wasps. God, having flashbacks to a grounded update. Okay, we're fine. I'm alive. More max health, attack size, and damage. Dude, beefy is just all positives, baby. I love it. Start licking this mantis up. We'll increase my bouncy balls crit chance also because that said it has a high crit damage ratio. So I figure all the damage will be coming from you know, the criticals, and we can increase the amount by four. That almost has broken a thousand DPS, but it's also almost broken a million damage, unlike my moles and water guys, which both have broken a million damage. Is this, like, even worth it nope. anymore? It's legendary, so I'm gonna take it just for the fun of it, but still. Whoa! Mantis and a spider at the same time? Is that allowed? Nope. I'm starting to question the validity of that spawn. Give me this chest, though, because I want another elephant. Hey, I got an achievement. Ten pets in one run? I want more. I want, like, 700 pets. The spider's dead. Give me another one. Fertilized crops, better yield, give me that. And buy the toucan while I'm here too. Dude, watermelons give me so much experience. Buy all those. Pumpkin seeds are also pretty good. Take that. Grapefruit seeds, really good also. The rest I can just leave. Sure, man, I'll take the pool day now. More crit damage, faster fishing speed. Why not? Oh, cool, another level up. Long reach, take that. I've got a lot of crops to plant now. I would also like to reach level 100 if I could. I started out as merely a humble level one frog, but I feel like I'm really coming along quite nicely. I'm, whoa, whoa. Wumbo? I'm Wumbo mode? What does this mean? I don't even know what happened. I'm just, I'm Wumbo and everything right now. I'm Wumboed out of my mind. I get it. Oh, I just survived spring. Shout out Wumbo. Oh, I beat the game. That's what happened. After all, I guess that was just a prologue. Well, all right, as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. Even though I know you love to ask. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you.